New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, who has been widely praised for steering one of the world's most successful responses to COVID-19, on Monday revealed that she had put President-elect Joe Biden in contact with the nation's health officials in efforts to share tactics on how to battle the devastating pandemic that has killed more than 256,000 Americans. As the pandemic rages on in the U.S., surging past 12 million infections, nearing 260,000 deaths and 84,000 people hospitalized, Biden has set about establishing and meeting with his coronavirus task force, while President Donald Trump has faced questions over his apparent inaction and failure to turn up to his own COVID-19 task force meetings for five months, instead using his time to launch unsuccessful bids to overturn Biden's election victory. In some of his first remarks since being projected the winner of the election, Biden warned that more people could die if the Trump administration continues to block his transition, while Dr. Anthony Fauci, the U.S. top infectious diseases official, has voiced concerns this could hamper efforts to distribute a coronavirus vaccine, which could be on the horizon as all three frontrunners, Pfizer, Moderna and AstraZeneca have released successful data and Pfizer-BioNTech have applied for emergency authorization with the Food and Drug Administration. Trump snubbed a key part of the virtual G20 leadership summit on Saturday discussing pandemic preparedness with EU, African and South American leaders, and instead opting to go golfing. New Zealand recorded just two new cases of coronavirus on Monday, the nation's health authorities said, while there are just 52 active cases there. The nation's successful handling of the pandemic has been attributed to widespread and early testing, 1.2 million tests have so far been carried out, clear communication around public health measures, and a test trace isolate system established early on. New Zealand's successful response in dealing with the virus comes even despite the country reporting their first case around February 28, more than one month after the US reported its first travel-related case on January 21. How New Zealand, eliminated, coronavirus, Forbes Trump hasn't shown up to COVID task force in months. Fauci says Forbes Biden to launch COVID-19 task force to put campaign plan into action Forbes full coverage and live updates on the coronavirus.